Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how to render out a sequence of .ass files via Kick. Some N2A lets you save scenes to ASS files that can later be rendered outside of Maya with Kick. Kick's a multi-platform command line utility, uh, which can also be used for rendering via stand-ins and procedurals. So I've got this animated walk cycle that I want to render out via Kick. And there are a number of ways that we can export .ass files from Maya. If we open up the Arnold Render View window, under the File menu we can export an Arnold scene here, so .ass file. Another way is through the Arnold menu, so under Arnold Scene Export, Export All to, export all to .ass, which will bring up the Export all options with the ASS export options here. Option to render out a sequence of frames here. There's also the export all file export all option. And you can change the option to, to .ass here as well. Okay, another way is through the Arnold render setting system menu. And by default, it's set to interactive for interactive rendering through the render view and the viewport. However, we can also export to ASS here and also export to ASS and Kick as well. So if we go to the Maya rendering render view and render, instead of rendering, it's going to open up Kick and render out the .ass file. Alternatively, we can export the ASS files and it will use the frame range set in the common tab. So we've got 32 uh, frame sequence here. Okay, so export.ass, go to the My Render View and hit Render. And instead of rendering, it's, you can see it's exporting the .ass files. If we go to the data folder of the project, you see the, the uh, .ass files being written out. There's the single frame that we exported earlier. So now that we've exported all the .ass files, we can open up Kick. So open up the command line window, and we need to change the directory uh, to where Kick is. So that would be in this case C drive, program files, Autodesk, Arnold, My 2022. And Ben, you can see kicks here. I'm just going to drag this across here and delete the kick XC. So we've just got the path. And then we can just kick the .ass files. So we go back to the folder here. We can just drag a single .ass file and it should render it. So Kick can only render one frame per file. So what if we render it, want to render out the the whole sequence? Well, there are a few ways to render a, a sequence of .ass files. You could use a render manager such as Deadline. And here's uh, the Deadline documentation, which tells you how to render .ass files. I'll put a link in the description. So as well as Kick, there's also Batch Render, which won't use as much memory because you can run it outside of Maya, like Kick. You're not locking up the machine. And uh, you could also render it on a separate machine. So just go to Render, Batch Render, and go up the output window. You can see how that's progressing. We can start to see the batch rendering working outside of Maya, which enables us to carry on working in Maya as it's rendering, not locking up the machine like the uh, the render views will do. So we can also use a batch script to render out the .ass files. So here we've got a basic batch script for rendering out .ass files. You can see we've got the path to kick as we had before, kick.exe, and there's a little for loop with some render flags here. If you're not sure what they do. There is this uh, getting started with a kick page it gives you a rundown of some of the more commonly used flags. So we've got here, we've got dash dp. So let's have a look at what that does. You can see it disables progressive refinement. Also got dash 
DW, which disables the, uh, the pop-up uh, window when rendering with Kick. And then we've got the velocity set quite high, which is uh, six, which default one. So you can increase the log velocity here or disable it with zero. So there's some of their render flags there. So let's give this a go. I can go back to Windows and just rename that to batch.bat. So that's the batch file. And then we can drag and drop these .ass files onto the bat file. That should run the script and render out the images for us. So if we go into our images folder, you start to see the animation being rendered. Okay, so there's various ways to render out .ass files using M2A. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.